Thank you, Senator. Thanks, Senator Grassley. Senator Klobuchar. Thank you very much, Attorney General Garland, for being here. Um, I know a major goal of yours was um, working to build morale in the department, uh, filling a number of the jobs, and I want to personally thank you for the work of the U.S. Attorney's Office in Minnesota um, and our U.S. Attorney Andy Luger, who I know you know. Um, and he actually, at his um, swearing in, announced a major uh, strategy to address violent crime that directed federal law enforcement to prioritize uh, cases including carjackings. We've had a rash of those cases um, in Minnesota and the trafficking of firearms. Under his leadership, every federal prosecutor, as you are aware, and your leadership in the office will now take on violent crime cases. Um, can you talk about how the department's um, approach to focusing on violent crime is centered on partnerships uh, with local agencies and what you're doing? Yeah, I, I want to um, uh, begin by saying that we well recognize uh, that there is a terrible problem of violent crime. Uh, very first, uh, and, and the reason violent crime is important to the to the federal government um, is because it uh, it makes it impossible for people to go about their ordinary lives uh, and carry out their civic responsibilities and their family responsibilities without uh, fear. So the department is uh, very seized with this problem. One of the very first things I did after becoming attorney general, uh, this was in I think in May is to uh, uh, establish an anti-violent crime strategy, um, which involves the kind of partnerships that you're talking about, and, uh, and the kind of individual uh, district by district determination that U.S. Attorney Luger has made in his own district as to what is most necessary in that district to fight violent crime. Okay. Uh, our plan involves uh, three sets of partnerships. Uh, one is among all federal law enforcement, FBI, DEA, uh, marshals, uh, ATF, and uh, Homeland Security and other agencies so that there is no turf fighting, that we all work together in joint task forces, that those partnerships at the second level be expanded to state and local uh, law enforcement, police, and sheriffs. Uh, there are not enough uh, federal law enforcement in the world to deal with the problem of violent crime. This is largely a state and local issue and problem, and we are they are our force multipliers, and we are their resource and expertise multipliers. So in every uh, jurisdiction, the U.S. Attorney is responsible for creating a task force of federal and state. And then finally, well, there has to be relationships with the community. Um, as a, a former violent crime prosecutor myself, I know we don't get witnesses to testify in violent crime cases unless the community trusts us. The community doesn't trust us if, we don't, if law enforcement doesn't engage with them. Um, show that we're being honest and transparent about our work, um, and, and through our funding mechanisms, provide grants for uh, violence interruption and violence in intervention. Okay, that, thank that, you. That's in a nutshell. Is thank a violent you crime for program. the thorough answer. Um, I'm going to just now do a bit of a rapid round follow up on some of these. Sure. Um, you mentioned law enforcement. Um, you noted in your testimony that the cops office has dedicated 224 million to help law enforcement. Senator Murkowski and I. Um, have uh, long championed the COPS hiring program through the COPS Reauthorization Act. Um, I assume you continue to support that and continue to support the work that needs to be done to address police officer recruitment and retention issues. Yeah, absolutely. In the previous fiscal year, I think we had $100 million um, to distribute, which we did for COPS hiring, uh, for recruitment and retention. Um, in the next fiscal year, we expect over $200 million for the same purpose. Um, we know how difficult uh, police departments are, uh, how much difficulty they're having with respect to recruitment and retention. And we are trying to do everything we can, both in terms of grants and in terms of expertise to help. Okay, very good. Uh, Minnesota, currently a backlog of around 3,800 DNA cases awaiting testing. Uh, Senator Cornyn and I are working together on the uh, Debbie Smith Act, and um, would that help law enforcement have the tools they need? This just actually, these numbers just came out yesterday, so it's yeah, very no, timely. I, absolutely. I think that that needs to be re-upped, and uh, we are very strongly supportive of um, um, providing more funds to state and locals for DNA rape kits uh, and, and, and thing, forensic analysis and the like. Okay, I want to leave two minutes for antitrust, so just one quick other follow-up. Senator Campido and I asked what steps the department has taken to stop the trafficking of fentanyl on the dark web. I know some of my colleagues have asked about fentanyl. Any update you want to give on that, or you could give it in writing afterwards? 
Well, I'll give you more detail in writing. As you know, we had a major dark, uh, takedown of two different uh, dark web um, websites, which were trafficking in fentanyl. Um, and we are continuing to investigate uh, uh, using our cyber tools to take those um, um, websites down and to arrest the uh, operators. Okay, thank you. Um, Senator Grassley and I worked together on passing, as you know, the changes to the merger fees. It was kind of a lot of drama at the end of the year. Um, and we're very pleased that that went through and it had, I think, 88 senators supporting an amendment at the end of the year um, on the budget. And I assume you're gonna use those resources in a good way as they start coming in. Um, and, uh, but I really wanted to focus on some of the legal changes we'd like to see. Uh, Senator Lee and I were pleased the venue bill passed that he led. And um, I know we also have a bill on um, the marketing side on Google. We're gonna be having a hearing coming up on that topic. Um, and I know the department recently announced a new antitrust case against Google for its uh, uh, blocking of competition in digital advertising. Um, but could you talk a little bit about beyond that um, what you think uh, legal changes, law changes would be helpful as we're seeing a changing um, internet economy and on the privacy kid side, which Senator Durbin asked about, we haven't seen any changes to our laws, but also on the antitrust side, on the marketing, on the self-preferencing of their products, whether it's Amazon uh, or Apple, we haven't seen changes. And Senator Blackburn and Senator Blumenthal have worked together on the App Store bill. Talk about what you'd like to see to give you the tools uh, to better combat the issues that we're seeing. So uh, first, uh, gratitude for the uh, merger um, uh, uh, fees increase. It, it gives us the opportunity to um, uh, staff up and uh, uh, be able to uh, have enough uh, lawyers and economists uh, to oppose uh, private sector, which is uh, way more than we do. And we still have fewer um, 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 antitrust employees than we had in the 70s, uh, the, the last time I was in the Justice Department. With respect you to- You have the biggest companies the world has ever seen to try to deal with. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, exactly. On the legislation side, um, uh, um, we have supported, I, I think it's called the Online Choice, uh, American Innovation and Online Line Choice Act. Good. Did they get it right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, and the Open Apps Act, um, I think that's close to the correct title. Um, um, has, uh, we've had testimony um, by um, uh, Assistant Attorney General uh, Cantor with respect to the Open Apps Act. Uh, we are always interested uh, in working with Congress uh, uh, to uh, modernize uh, the um, antitrust laws to take account of the kind of uh, network effects uh, that the, uh, and uh, two-sided platforms uh, uh, that we now have in our high technology companies. Well, thank you. And of course, you join a number of Republicans as well as the NFIB. It's made this a huge uh, priority in terms of passing these bills. Thank you. Attorney General, of course, 